Thank you. Thanks, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, my name's Ami Kassar, and I'm a small business owner from the suburbs of Philadelphia. I'm happy to be out here in Silicon Valley today to ask for your help. Really, um, there are 26 million small businesses in the United States, and they are historically coming out of every recession have created 65% of the jobs, and the capital crunch and the capital crisis that they're facing has not eased in any way. And I'm here to ask the tech community for your help, for an idea that we could generate that can make a difference, a material difference, I believe, to our economy in a matter of weeks. We don't have to lobby government. We don't have to wait for a year of presidential politicians. We don't have to wait for the FDIC or the regulators to change their minds. There are things that we can do in a campaign that I call the 10-day pay campaign that can help now. What's going on out there? There's a big difference. If you're a big company today, a Fortune 1000 company, perhaps trading on the public stock market, or of 1,000 employees, or a couple hundred employees, you can go out and borrow money today at two, three, maybe 4% interest. Think about that. If you're a small business and you need to borrow money, you got to pay but sometime, many times between 24 and 48% interest for factoring or purchase order financing. You're going to sell your invoices, you're going to advance your invoices, or you're going to do purchase order financing to, to, for your production. Think about that. That is a huge difference. What's happened during the recession, it's gotten worse because the big companies are taking even longer to pay their bills. If you look at it for research created by the National Federation of Independent Businesses, okay, this late pay has gotten worse during the recession. 40% of those 26 million businesses are fa failing it and it's taken them on average 46 days to get paid. Think about that. S big companies are holding on to their cash, their small business suppliers are struggling, and they're just taking longer and longer to pay them. I'd like to tell you a story of one of our clients at Multifunding. This company, is they, weigh, they, they lay cable wires for a large, internet and wireless company that we all know in this room, whose name I'll, st I'll stay out of it. But I guarantee you that 20 to 30% of us use them and pay their bills. If we don't pay them on time, what are they gonna do? After 30 days, they simply cut off our cell phone or they cut off our internet connection. Their company, their supplier that uh, employs 60 people, does about $6 million a year, okay? They take 97 days to pay them. All right, and if they don't, if they complain about it, someone in the accounts payable department somewhere just writes the checks in 97 days, and they're fearful for their lives because if they complain about it, they're afraid that they're gonna cut them off. Meanwhile, they're paying half a million dollars a year in interest to their factor, who's backed by a hedge fund, who's having a payday, okay? And this is just one example of millions of small businesses who are facing the same problem. Now this company is having a hard time now because they can't hire new people. They can't go out, I tried, we tried to get them an SBA loan. They couldn't get an SBA loan because they're not very profitable. They're spending half a million dollars on interest fees a year for a company that's doing $6 million a year. They are what we call a high speed treadmill. Okay, because as companies get into these alternative financing arrangements, Okay, they run on these high-speed treadmills and once you're on it, it's really hard to get off. So the question is, what can we all do about it? And we think that there is in fact a big opportunity, but I can't do it all alone and we really need your help. The idea is to create a campaign called 10 Day Pay where we get the help of big corporations, we get the hope, I hope there's some Silicon Valley folks here who can build some technology for us, in this TED community, and perhaps some advertising and public relations people who could help. The first part of the idea, and this is just an example, is to find corporate leaders, and here we take the example of Jeep, okay, to take a pledge and to say, we want to help, we're gonna pay all of our suppliers in 10 days. It's not gonna change their profitability. Maybe their cash flow statements will change a little bit, 
okay? But instead of paying them in 45 or 60 or 90 days, they'll pay them in 10 days. I'm not asking them to do this just to be good citizens, although that would be nice. I think that they'll actually generate incredible loyalty from the small business community. 26 million small businesses, they employ tens of millions of people. Many of them are feeling this pain. So I'm asking corporate leaders, if they would, to sign up for this campaign, take a leadership position, say, we'll pay our suppliers in 10 days, and to advertise it. Use part of their advertising budget for it, and they will generate goodwill. I believe they'll generate more positive business than they would, uh, than it'll cost them to delay their payments a little bit. And where Silicon Valley comes in is, I think there's an opportunity for a website that would create incredible transparency. It's called the 10-day pay campaign. And what would happen is that small businesses would be able to anonymously send in their invoices and their checks so we could see how long it's taking suppliers to pay them. And then we could grade our, our suppliers. Here, again, these are just examples. Verizon is an A, AT&T has a B. And we could choose, we can make a difference as consumers and choose the suppliers for our products and services that are actually helping and paying their small business suppliers in turn. I recently changed my bank to, I left Citibank and I went to a small community bank in my area. Okay, <laughs> okay. And, and I did it because I wanted to um, go to a bank that I knew was turning, turning around my money and lending it back to small businesses. Why don't we take the same idea, positively through transparency, and support suppliers, support companies that are paying their suppliers in time. We're just asking them to do for us, to do to their suppliers what they're expecting of us. This could make a massive difference. It could make a massive difference. Working capital and cash flow is a huge problem for small businesses across the country. And again, to reiterate, I think this impacts Wall Street and the biggest, I think the biggest bang for the buck of this idea is together in this room and in the TED community, we could do it. We don't need government. We don't have to wait for the president. We don't have to wait for Congress. It's technology and social media. It will create transparency. And I think it could make a huge difference, not just to the lives of those 26 million small businesses, but to the economy and to all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you.